lahat. Tonight po ay ang day 48 ng ating pag-aaral dito po sa Nuggets of Wisdom from the Book of Proverbs. So tonight po ang pag-aaralan po natin ay ang Proverbs chapter 9 from verse 1 hanggang 6. Bago po yun ay manalangin po muna tayo. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, salamat Lord sa isa lang pong gabi Lord na makakapag-aral kami ng iyong banal na salita. Kayo po ang manguna sa amin, sa aming pag-aaral. Holy Spirit, kayo po ang gumabay sa amin Lord God all throughout our study ng iyong um, salita. Maraming salamat Lord. Kayo po ang mapapurihan at kayo po ang mabigyan Lord God ng kalwalhatian. Salamat Lord. Bless the sharing of your word for tonight. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay po. So, ngayong gabi po ay mapag-aaralan po natin kung paano pong si Wisdom ay nag-prepare ng isang great banquet. At kung ano po yung mga preparations na kanyang ginawa, sino po yung mga in-invite niya, at kung ano po yung purpose, saka yung benefit or reward ng um, invitation na ito. Bago po yun ay basahin po muna natin sa New King James Version. Sabi sa verse 1, Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her meat. She has mixed her wine. She has also furnished her table. She has sent out her maidens. She cries out from the highest places of the city. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. As for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, verse 5, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness, and live, and go in the way of understanding. So, doon pa sa verse 1, yun po yung unang preparation na ginawa niya for the feast or banquet. Yun po yung nag-build po siya ng kanyang house, and also, she hewn out her seven pillars. So, bakit siya nag-build ng ganoon kalaki? para po ma-accommodate lahat po ng kanyang mga um, iimpitahan sa kanyang malaking handaan. So, yung seven pillars po dito suggest na yung bahay po talaga ay malaki. At, di ba po, um, dito sa Bible, ang seven po ay isang ideal number na nagsisimbolize po ng perfection or complete, uh, completeness. Kaya siguro po, seven pillars yung um, ginamit niya. And pangalawa naman po ay she prepared the food and set the table. Makikita natin dun sa verse 2 tsaka dun sa verse 5. So si Wisdom po slaughtered her meat and set the table. Ito po ay nag indicate na hindi lang ito isang typical na everyday meal pero ito po ay special or lavish or sa term pa po natin ay in grande. Tapos, um, si Wisdom po, kung mapapansin po natin, is providing abundant food for the banquet. Meron po ditong meat at meron din pong wine at bread. So, yun po yung um, preparations na ginawa niya. So, um, to whom does she send the invitations? Kanino naman po niya um, sinend yung mga invitations na ito? Sabi doon sa verse 4, unang-una ay para doon sa mga simple at pangalawa ay para doon sa um, who lacks understanding. So yung mga simple po pala ay may yung mga naive, yun po yung mga walang experience or yung mga easily misled na mga um, tao. Pero pag titignan po natin doon sa NLP version, doon po sa verse 3, sabi po doon, she has sent her servants to invite everyone to come. So, hindi lang po yung mga simple or those who lacks understanding. But she also invite everyone to come. Ano po ba yung purpose ng kanyang invitation? Unang-una po, makikita natin doon sa verse 4. Sabi doon, di ba? Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. So, ang una pong purpose ng kanyang invitation, for the simple to turn to wisdom. Bakit po? Kasi, if they turn to wisdom, may lalayo po sila doon sa kapahamakan na dulot doon sa bitag po ng masamang babae, doon sa tinutukoy sa Proverbs chapter 7, 
from verse 6 hanggang 23. At si wisdom po dito calls the simple. Tin tinawag po niya yung mga or tinatawag po niya yung mga simple, mga simple po to her feast para po sila ay maging wais. So, ang pangalawa naman po na purpose ng kanyang invitation ay para doon sa uh, to those who lacks wisdom, she offers, nag-offer po siya ng provision. Ang provision na ito, makikita natin doon sa verse 4b tsaka 5. Sabi doon, as for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. So, di ba po yung bread tsaka wine ay mga physical na mga pagkain. But, if we stand clearly po, si wisdom po dito is offering those who lacks um, understanding po provision, hindi lang po sa physical na pagkain, pero ganun din po sa spiritual na uh, food. Diba, kagaya po nang sabi doon sa Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, sabi doon, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So, only when this simple and those who lack understanding fill their lives po with God's word, only when we feel, feel po, puno, pagpunuin po natin yung sarili po natin with God's word, na magiging po tayo, the simple and those who lack understanding will gain understanding at magiging sila po ay magiging wais. At pangatlo naman po, para po sa kanila, dun sa mga simple and those who lacks understanding, to forsake foolishness, yung sinasabi po doon sa verse 6. Ano po ba yung foolishness na ito? Sabi, um, tinignan ko po yung meaning. The unawareness or lack of social norms which causes offense, annoyance, trouble, or even injury. So, dito naman po sa Bible, ang a very good example po ng foolishness ay yung describe po doon sa Psalms chapter 14, verse 6. Uh, sorry, verse 1. Sabi doon, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God, walang Panginoon. At sila po ay mga corrupt. They are corrupt. And they have done abominable works. And there is none who does good. So, yun po yung pinagamagandang example ng foolishness. Yun po yung sa New King James Version. Pero pag titignan po natin dun sa King James Version po, ang sinasabi po doon ay for the simple and those who lacks understanding to forsake the foolish. So, we should, uh, they should avoid being associated with fools at um, do not let them influence them anymore. Diba? Um, Paul warn, warns us doon sa 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33, sabi doon, not to be deceived for bad company corrupts good character. So, yun po yung pangatlo at pangapat naman po. For the simple and those who lacks understanding to go in the way of understanding. Yung sinasabi po doon sa verse 6. So, um, when they accept wisdom's invitation, doon lamang po sila magiging po ng wisdom. At doon lamang din po um, sila mag-stop po to be foolish at mag-stop po doon sa kanilang mga uh, foolishness, sa mga foolish, uh, foolish ways. So, to go in the way of understanding po is an admonish, admonition or isa pang payo to follow God. At ang makukuha po na benefit naman po kapag inaccept po ng mga simple at yung mga lack, those who lacks understanding yung wisdom's invitation po. If they forsake, forsake their foolishness and they will go in the way of understanding, ang benefit or reward is for them to live, for them to have life. Kagaya ng sinasabi doon sa Proverbs chapter 4 verse 22, 22. For they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh. 
ganun po sa Proverbs chapter 8 verse 35, sabi doon, For whoever finds me, yung si wisdom po, finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. So dito po sa um, pinag-aralan po natin ay makikita natin that wisdom makes an invitation to feast with her uh, with her doon sa kanyang bahay. At ganun din po ang ating Panginoong Jesus. He is inviting us Christians to follow Him all the way. At para naman po doon po sa mga hindi pa po um, nakakakilala sa Kanya or sa mga wala pa pong personal na relasyon sa ating Panginoong Jesus. He is inviting us po to follow Him. He is inviting you to start, mag-start na po to follow Him. Just as the simple po and those who lacks understanding must respond to the invitation and must be willing to forsake their foolishness in order to enjoy what wisdom offers and to live, ganun din po dapat tayo. So, ngayon gabi po, are you willing to accept wisdom or even Jesus' invitation? Dahil those who accept her invitation will be blessed. Gaya na sabi niya sa Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. Blessed is the one who fi finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding. Pero this will be a warning po to those who will reject the invitation. Sabi sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 8, Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Panginoon, maraming salamat Lord sa mga salita mo na aming napag-aralan ngayong gabi na ito Lord God. Salamat Lord sa patuloy niyo pong paggabay sa amin. Salamat Lord sa patuloy niyo pong pagpapaalala sa amin Lord God to live our foolish ways Lord God. To live our foolishness Lord God and to accept your invitation Father God for us to be wise Lord. Para po kami, Panginoon, ay maging wais, Lord. Lord, maraming salamat, Lord, sa bawat isa na nakinig at nanood ng video na ito ngayong gabi, Lord. Pagpalain mo ang bawat isa sa kanila, sampo ng kanilang buong pamilya. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, and we bless your name, we glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Maraming salamat po muli sa sa pakikinig at panonood ng video na ito. At, um, sa Monday na naman po ay magsasama-sama na naman po tayo upang uh, pagpatuloy ng ating pag-aaral dito po sa Nuggets of Wisdom from the Book of Proverbs. Good night po and God bless you all.